<laughs> They're not feeling it. I'm like, you guys We're nervous? <laughs> We're a little nervous too. Nah. That'll be fine. That sounded like the buzzer. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Please go to your podiums. That was awkward enough. Let's uh, right, like, thank, let's get thank you. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> get Save out of us here. and them. <laughs> is there anyone on stage? And can I see hands? Who is unwilling tonight to pledge your support to the eventual nominee of the Republican Party and pledge to not run an independent campaign against that person? Again, we're looking for you to raise your hand now. Raise your hand now if you won't make that pledge tonight. Mr. Trump. So, Mr. Trump, to be clear, you're standing on a Republican primary debate. I fully debate, understand. The place where the RNC will give the nominee the nod. I fully understand. And that experts say an independent run would almost certainly hand the race over to Democrats and likely another Clinton. You can't say tonight that you can make that pledge. I cannot say I have to respect the person that if it's not me, the person that wins. If I do win and I'm leading by quite a bit, uh, that's what I want to do. I can totally make that pledge. If I'm the nominee, I will pledge I will <laughs> not run as an independent. But uh, and I am discussing it with everybody. But I'm you know, talking about a lot of leverage. We want to win and we will win. But I want to win. As the Republican, I want to run as the Republican nominee. So tonight you can't say if another one of these... This is what's wrong. I mean, okay. this is what's wrong. He buys and sells politicians of all stripes. He's already... Dr. Paul. Hey, look, look. He's already hedging his bet on the Clintons, okay? So if he doesn't run as a Republican, maybe he supports Clinton or maybe runs as an independent. Okay. But I'd say that he's already hedging his bets because he's used to buying politicians. Well, I've given so just, him plenty of money. Just Brett, to be clear, Brett. you can't make the, we're gonna We're going to move on. You're not going to make the pledge tonight. I will not make the pledge at this time. Okay. All, All right. right. That's what... <laughs> I'm proud of my dad, and I'm certainly proud of my brother. In Florida, they call me Jeb because I earned it. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. Thank you. For the record, it was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? And how will you answer the charge from Hillary Clinton, who is likely to be the Democratic nominee, that you are part of the war on women? I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. And I don't frankly have time for total political correctness. And to be honest with you, this country doesn't have time either. This country is in big trouble. We don't win anymore. We lose to China. We lose to Mexico, both in trade and at the border. We lose to every. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. But you know what? We, we need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain in this country to turn it around. Mr. Trump, uh, it has not escaped anybody's notice that you say that the Mexican government, the Mexican government is sending criminals, rapists, drug dealers across the border. Governor Bush has called those remarks, quote, extraordinarily ugly. I'd like you, you're right next to him, tell us, talk to him directly and say how you respond to that. And, and you have repeatedly said that you have evidence that the Mexican government is doing this, but that you have evidence you have refused or declined to share. Why not use this first Republican presidential debate to share your proof with the American people. So, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. This was not a subject 
that was on anybody's mind until I brought it up at my announcement, and I said, Mexico is sending. Except the reporters, because they're a very dishonest lot, generally speaking, in the world of politics, they didn't cover my statement the way I said it. The fact is, since then, many killings, murders, crime, drugs pouring across the border, our money going out and the drugs coming in. And I said, we need to build a wall, and it has to be built quickly. And I don't mind having a big, beautiful door in that wall so that people can come into this country legally. But we need, Jeb, to build a wall. We need to keep illegals out. Uh, Mr. Trump, I'll give you 30 seconds. I'll give you 30 seconds to answer my question, which was, what evidence do you have, specific evidence, that the Mexican government is sending criminals okay. across the border? 30 seconds. Border Patrol, I was at the border last week. Border Patrol people that I deal with, that I talk to, they say, this is what's happening, because our leaders are stupid, our politicians are stupid, and the Mexican government is much smarter, much sharper, much more cunning, and they send the bad ones over because they don't want to pay for them, they don't want to take care of them, why should they, when the stupid leaders of the United States will do it for them, and that's what's happening, whether you like it or not. I want to collect more records from terrorists but less records from innocent Americans. The Fourth Amendment was what we fought the revolution over. John Adams said it was the spark that led to our war for independence. And I'm proud of standing for the Bill of Rights, and I will continue to stand for the Bill of Rights. And, and Megan, Megan, that's a, that, you know, that's a completely ridiculous answer. I want to collect more records from terrorists, but less records from other people. How are you supposed to know, Megan? Use the Fourth what are you Amendment. Supposed to, how are you supposed Use to? Use the Fourth no, Amendment. No, I'll tell you how you look. Get a warrant. Let me tell you something. You Get go, a judge to sign when a you, warrant. Uh, you know, Senator, go ahead, wait, Governor Christie, make your point. Listen, Senator, you know, when you're sitting in a subcommittee just blowing hot air about this, you can say things like that. When you're responsible for protecting the lives of the American people, then what you need to do is Here's to make sure is to make sure that Here's you use the, problem, the system Governor. the way it's supposed Here's to work. the problem, Governor. You fundamentally un misunderstand the Bill of Rights. Every time you did a case, you got a warrant from a judge. I'm talking and about searches without warrants, there is indiscriminately no of all Americans' records, and that's what I fought to end. I don't trust President Obama with our records. I know you gave him a big hug, and if you want to give him a big hug again, go right in. And, go ahead, Governor. And you know, you know, Senator Paul, Senator Paul, you know, the hugs that I remember are the hugs that I gave to the families who lost their people on September 11th. Those are the hugs I remember. Candidates, you may not have seen the late developing news today. Our Fox Pentagon team broke earlier this evening about a top Iranian general traveling to Moscow to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin. His name is General Qasem Soleimani. He's blamed for hundreds of U.S. troop deaths in Iraq and Afghanistan. His trip to Russia appears to directly violate UN Security Council resolutions to confine him to Iran. So Mr. Trump, if you were president, how would you respond to this? I would be so different from what you have right now. Last night at my direction, the United States military successfully executed a flawless precision strike that killed the number one terrorist anywhere in the world. Qasem Soleimani. You didn't answer my question. Would you feel comfortable with Donald Trump's finger on the nuclear codes? It's an issue that one of your fellow candidates has raised. That's not for me to answer. It is for the voters of this country to answer. And I have a lot of faith in the common sense and good judgment of the voters of the United States of America. Mr. Trump? Well, First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's number 11. He's got 1% in the polls. And how he got up here, there's far too many people. Anyway, as far as temperament, and we all know that, as far as temperament, I think I have a great temperament. But we will be respected outside of this country. We are not respected now. Mr. Senator Paul, your name has been invoked.
I kind of have to laugh when I think of, hmm, sounds like a non sequitur. He was asked whether or not he would be capable and it would be in good hands to be in charge of the nuclear weapons, and all of a sudden there's a sideways attack at me. I think that really goes to really the judgment. Do we want someone with that kind of character, that kind of careless language, to be negotiating with Putin? Do we want someone like that to be negotiating with Iran? I think really there's a sophomore quality that is entertaining about Mr. Trump. But I am worried. I'm very concerned about him having him in charge of the nuclear weapons because I think his response, his, his visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly, my goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? Would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear Jake, arsenal? Jake, the, Mr. Trump. I never attack him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. <laughs> that I can tell you. Jake, Jake. that was generous and gave me money was Donald Trump. He wanted casino gambling in Florida. I didn't want Yes, you did. Totally false. You wanted it, and you, you didn't get to, it, I because I was it. opposed to casino I, gambling I before, promise I during, it. and after. And that's not, I'm not going to be bought by I anybody. I promise, if I wanted it, I would have gotten it. No way, man. <laughs> believe me. No. Nope. I know my not people. Not even possible. I know my people. Is there anything else you want to say about no, this? No, I just uh, will tell you that, you know, Jeb made the statement. I'm not only referring to him. I, a lot of money was raised by a lot of different people that are standing up here. And the donors, the special interests, the lobbyists have very strong power over these people. I'm spending all of my money. I'm not spending, I'm not getting any. I turned down, I, I turned down so much. I could have right now from special interests and donors, I could have double and triple what he's got. I've turned it down. I've turned down last week $5 million from somebody. You got Hillary Clinton to go to your wedding That's because true. you gave her That's money. True. Maybe it works for Hillary Clinton. I was, excuse it doesn't me, work Jeff. for anybody on, this, on this stage. I was a this... businessman. I got along with Clinton. I got along with everybody. Yeah. That was my job to get along with people. But the simple I didn't fact wanna, is. Excuse me. One second. No. I the didn't want to. Oh, you good. cannot take. More energy tonight. I like no. that. Look. I was asked the question. I didn't want. It was my obligation as a businessman, to my family, to my company, to my employees, to get along with all politicians. I got along with all of them, and I did a damn good job in doing it. Go ahead. So, he supports Pelosi, he supports Schumer, he supports Clinton. Got along when with he, everybody. And he, when, he asked, when he asked Florida to have casino gambling, we said no. Wrong. We said no, and that's the simple fact. The don't, simple don't fact make things is, up, Jeff. Don't, don't make cut me up. off. Come sir. on, don't make things. Up. What I said to you, May what I, I said was you're going to you're going to destabilize the Middle East, me. and that's what happened. So he's you, referred to me. No, the first remarks, chance. May I make a response? At, right after me, go and ahead, I'll, I'll yield my, yield the floor. What do you guys say in the Senate when you're talking and debating? Absolutely, go Whatever. ahead. Here's the facts. When, as it relates to my brother, there's one thing I know for sure: he kept us safe. I don't know if you remember, <laughs> Donald. You remember the, the rubble? You remember the firefighter with his arms around it? He sent a clear signal that the United States would be strong and fight Islamic terrorism, and he did keep us safe. I don't know. You feel safe right now? I don't feel so safe. Forty years ago, I smoked marijuana, uh, and I admit it. Autism has become an epidemic. <laughs> okay. And just thirdly, he was so nice. He was such a nice guy. And he said, oh, I'm never going to attack. But then his poll numbers tanked. He's got very, that's why he's on the end. And he got nasty. And he got nasty. So you know what? You can have him. Where did I read this and come up with this that you were? Probably, I don't know. You, you people write this stuff. I don't know where you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be clear. Let's and, talk and and if about I could say, And if I could say just one thing. Yeah. I am the only person in either campaign that's self-funding. I'm putting up 100% of my own money. And right now, I will be putting up a tremendous, so far I put up less than anybody, and I have the best results. Wouldn't that be nice if the country could do that? But I will be putting, I will be putting up, you know, tremendous amounts of money. Super PACs are a disaster. They're a scam. They cause dishonesty. And you better get rid of them, because they are causing a lot of bad decisions to be made by some very good people. And I'm not blaming these folks, but I guess I could. <laughs> Governor Bush. Yeah. 
I would like to make comment. You've already made two comments, John. It's my turn. We have more questions well, for you, Governor Casey, coming up. We have know, more questions for you, Governor Casey. Well, I got about four minutes point, last debate. I'm going to get my question right I, now. I appreciate it, Jeb. I'm all Thank for you. you. But I, I want to some point talk about too. a value-added tax and $11, $12 trillion uh, tax cuts that will put our kids way deeper in the hole than, than they have been at this point. So I'd like to talk about it at some point, because that's what leadership is. We will, we will certainly get to that. Governor Bush. Yeah. We can't ship 11 million people out of this country. Children would be terrified and it will not case. work. Thank you. Had a lot of Mr. Trump, truth. you've had a good... Can uh, I let me just... Let's, built uh, an unbelievable company worth billions and billions of dollars. Mr. I don't have to hear from this Mr. man. Mr. Trump. Believe me. I don't have to hear from him. Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, you yourself... You yourself <laughs> said let uh, Governor Bush speak. Governor Bush. Thank you, Donald, for allowing me to speak at the debate. That's really nice of you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> what a generous man you are. Ronald Reagan didn't And Ronald Reagan troops walked troops away East. at Reykjavik. He walked away. He quit talking Can I finish when it was time? time to quit Can I finish talking. With my time? Why does she keep interrupting everybody? Yeah. Boy, terrible. Yeah, I'd like to finish, I'd like to finish my response, basically. In a if I may respond. On the, this yeah, is an important you know, question. Wait, this is this, an incredibly important question. Why would you then bail out rich Wall Street banks, but not Main Street, not Mom and I Pop, wouldn't. not Sabina Loving? Well, you just said no, an executive no, knows to step in and bail we out were, a bank. They were talking about what you would do with depositors. Would you let these banks shut down? My argument is going forward, the banks have to reserve the capital so that the, cap, so that the people who own the capital start pressuring the banks to not take these risky approaches, Ted, but so, at the end of the so day... So you said you'd abandon well, you philosophy this. and let abandon you principle, this. but what if would during, you do if, during, if the bank was failing? Because if during... Well, what would you do you if what? the bank was failing? I would not let the people who put their money in there all go down. So you would, as you would bail them out? No. I, as an executive, I would figure out how to separate those people who could afford it versus those people or the hard-working folks who put their money in those institutions. Let me, no, no, let me say another thing. Here's what I mean by that. Here's what I mean by that. You, you flew in with your 767, didn't you, right there, right next to the plant? No, the new plants. I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about in the future. They're building massive plants in China because China does not want Boeing building their planes here. They want it built in China because China happens to be smart the way they do it, not the way we do it. When you head back to the airport tonight, go check and see. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll check for you. Check it out. Now you got Europe. Maria, why should individuals pay? Maria, Maria, I just I'd like to pay Maria. I'd like to interrupt instead of ten percent. Maria, I'd like to I'd like to interrupt. I'd like to interrupt floor of the Senate. Um, to actually answer the question you asked, which was on entitlements. Do you remember that, everybody? This was a question on entitlements. I'll answer and the, the entitlement and the reason, question. And the reason, now you already had your chance, Mark, you blew it. Um, here's the thing. Jeb doesn't really believe I'm unhinged. He said that very simply because he has failed in this campaign. It's been a total disaster. Nobody cares. And frankly, I'm the most solid person up here. I built a tremendous company. And all I want to do is make America great again. I don't want our country to be taken away from us. And that's what's happening. The policies that we've suffered under other presidents have been a disaster for our country. We want to make America great again. And Jeb, in all fairness, he doesn't believe that. Look, he, he mentioned me. I can bring it. I can talk. This is, this is the problem. Two months ago, D Donald Trump said that ISIS was not our fight. Just two months ago. He said that Hillary Clinton would never, be a great seen. negotiator with Iran. And he got, gets his foreign policy experience from the shows. Uh, come on, give that me. is not a serious kind of candidate. We need someone. We need toughness. Honestly, I think Jeb is a very nice person. He's a very nice person, but we need tough people. We need toughness. We need intelligence, and we need tough. Jeb said when they come across the southern border, they come as an act of love. You said in September 30th that ISIS was not a I, I, Am I uh, talking or are you talking, Jeb? I'm you talking right back. now. I'm talking. You can go back. You're not talking. talking. You interrupted me, September 30th, Are you going to apologize, said Jeb? No. Am I allowed to finish? Yes, one at a time. Excuse go ahead, me. Mr. Am Mr. I allowed to finish? Go ahead, Mr. Trump. So, little of your again, own I, there. Well, I, don't, uh, I know Governor, you're trying Governor to build Bush, up your energy, please. Jeff, but it's not one, working One at a time. Well. Yeah. Look, look, look. We need a toughness. We need strength. Governor uh, Bush. Donald, uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. That's not going to happen. And I do have the strength. <laughs> leadership, leadership is not 
Leadership is not about a military that is second Thank to you. none so that we can destroy Islamic terror. With Jeb's attitude, we will never be great again. That I can tell you. We will never be great again. All right, Hugh, 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 go ahead with the next question. I'd like to also go back to, though, another question, which is, is Donald Trump a serious candidate? The reason I ask this is... Mentioned so I can bring up something, I think, right? Look, the simple fact is, if you think this is tough and you're not being treated and this fairly, isn't tough and easy. imagine I wish what you, it's going to be like I dealing wish it with was Putin always or dealing easy with as President as Xi or dealing with the, the Islamic terrorism oh, that yeah. exists. This is a tough business oh, to run yeah. for oh, president. Oh, I know. You're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is pr real principled. Tough. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting Jeb, yeah? your way to well, the presidency. Well, let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so far matter. I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. So far I'm doing better. You know, you started off over here, Jeb. You're moving over further and further. Pretty soon you're going to be off the end. This doesn't do a thing to solve the problem. It doesn't do a thing to solve the problem. Why would you be willing to put somebody Let who's a maniac you, one heartbeat away from the president? But I've gotten to know him over the last three or four days. He has a wonderful temperament. <laughs> <laughs> He's just fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Governor Chris Christie. Dr. Ben Carson. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Florida Senator Marco Rubio. <laughs> Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. And Ohio Governor John Kasich. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican candidate. And Dr. Ben Carson, please come out on the stage. He's standing there as well. Dr. Carson. And Donald Trump. And lastly, we welcome back to the debate stage, Donald Trump. But Kasich. Can I introduce Kasich? He's so noisy Kasich? in here. Yes, yes. We're going to introduce Ohio Governor John Kasich. Yeah. <laughs> That's for public purpose. But what Donald Trump did was use him in a domain to try to take the property of an elderly woman on the strip in Atlantic City. That is not public purpose. That is downright wrong. And here's the problem with that. Right, okay. The problem was it was to tear Jeb, down. It was to Jeb tear wants down. To be, he wants to be a to tough guy. Down, he wants to be a tough guy. It tonight. was to tear down. I didn't the take house, the property. And the net I, result I didn't, was you tried. I didn't and take the property. The, court. the woman ultimately didn't want to do that. I that is not away, true. And, and the simple fact that I didn't. is to turn this into a limousine parking lot for his casinos is not a public use. And in Florida, based on what we did, we made that impossible. It is part of our constitution. That's the better approach. That is the conservative approach. Mr. Trump, take 30 seconds, well, let, let me just, you know, he wants to be a tough guy. A lot of times, you'll have, you'll have, and, and it doesn't work very well with How me. tough is it a to take away times, property you, from an elderly talk, woman? Let me talk quiet. How a tough is it? A lot of times, a lot of times, that's all of his donors and special interests <laughs> out there. So, that's what it is. That's what, and by the way, let me just tell you, we need a ticket. You can't get them. You know who has the tickets for the, I'm talking about to the television audience? Donors, special interest, the people that are putting up the money. So it is. The RNC told us we have all donors in the audience. And the reason they're not loving me, the reason they're not, excuse me, the reason they're not loving me is I don't want their money. I'm going to do the right thing for the American public. I don't want their money. I don't need their money. And I'm the only one up here that can say that. Eminent domain, the Keystone Pipeline, do you consider that a private job? 
I you, consider, you consider it a public use. No, no, let me ask you, Jeb. Do you consider the Keystone Pipeline use. private? It's is it public, public or private? It's a public use. Oh, really? A, a public use? No, yeah. it's a private job. It's a public it's use. It's a private Established job. Established by the courts, federal, state you courts. You wouldn't have the Keystone Pipeline that you want so badly without eminent domain. All right, exactly. You exactly. wouldn't have massive, excuse me, Josh, you wouldn't have massive factories without eminent domain. No, no, Workers I'm the Poland. only one of the stage that's hired people. You haven't hired anybody. No. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it's interesting. That happened. I've hired tens of thousands of people over my lifetime. Tens of Many thousands. Many from other people countries instead quiet. of hiring Just Americans. Be quiet. Let me talk. I've hired tens of thousands of people. He brings up something from 30 years ago. It worked out very well. Everybody was hey, you happy. Paid a million and by dollars. the way, the laws were totally different. Right. That was a whole different well, world. Thank you. Right. But I've hired people. Nobody up here has hired Senator anybody. Cruz. You say you want to deport the election. As one magazine said, he's a world-class businessman. He, he was friendly with everybody. I got along with everybody. You get along with nobody. You don't have one Republican. <laughs> you don't have one Republican senator, and you work with them every day of your life, although you skipped a lot of time. These are minor details. But you don't have one Republican senator backing you, not one. You don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator, and you work with these people. Senator Cruz. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, I actually think Donald is right. He is promising if he's elected, he will go and cut deals in Washington. And he's right. He has supported, deal, he has given hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democrats. Anyone who really cared about illegal immigration wouldn't be hiring illegal immigrants. Anyone who really cared about illegal immigration wouldn't be funding Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi, wouldn't be funding the Gang of Eight. And, you know, he is right. When you stand up to Washington, when you honor the promise you made to the men and women who elected you and say enough with the corruption, enough with the cronyism, let's actually stand for the working men and women of this country. Washington doesn't like it. And Donald, if you want to be liked in Washington, that's not a good attribute for a president. Here's a man, Robin Hood. This is Robin Hood over here. He talks about corruption on his financial disclosure form. He didn't even put that he's borrowed money from Citibank and from Goldman Sachs, which is a total violation. He didn't talk about the fact that he pays almost no interest. He just left it off, and now he's going right. to protect the people from the big bad banks. We're going to move on to Governor Kasich. Governor that's, that's Kasich, well, can you've been waiting. You, you, you can respond, but let me get uh, Governor Kasich in. He's been waiting patiently. Well, Governor Kasich. If he builds the wall the way he built Trump Towers, he'll be using illegal immigrant labor to do it. The oh. second. So cute. The, such, such a cute soundbite. But it, no, it's not a soundbite. It's a fact. Yeah, Again, go online and Google it. Donald Trump, Polish workers. You'll see it. The second thing about the trade war, I don't understand because your ties and the clothes you make is made in Mexico and in China. So you're going to be starting a trade war against your own ties and your own suits. That's right. All right. You know why? Because why don't you make them in America? Their no, they devalue their currencies. They devalue their currencies. Well, then make them in America. That makes it impossible. Well, you don't know a thing about business. You lose well, on everything Well, make them in America. Do. Let me just tell you. They devalue their currencies. China, Mexico, everybody, Japan, wow. with the cars. They devalue their currencies to such an extent that our businesses cannot compete with them. Our workers lose their and jobs. So you make them but in China and Russia. But you wouldn't know anything about it because you're a lousy businessman. Well, I don't know man. anything about bankrupting four right. companies. No, you I, bankrupt I, I, no, four companies. You know you know I don't know anything about it. Starting That's a university, that was a fake university. First of all, one a fake time. university. That's called. Okay, there are people that borrow thirty-six thousand dollars to time, go to Trump, Trump University, and they're suing him now. Thirty-six thousand dollars to go to a way, university. By the way, That's a fake school. And by the way, and you know what they got? I've they got you, to take I've a picture with a cardboard cutout right. of Donald Trump. And by the way, That's what they got for the thirty-six thousand dollars. I want to move on. They actually did a very good job, but I won most of the lawsuit. Senator, I want, most to of the lawsuit. I, I, I want to bring in my colleague, Maria Excuse Celeste. Excuse me, hey, Wolf, let of, me ask you. Am I allowed to respond to this You're allowed? You've been responding. Okay, well, let me, no, I haven't. I really haven't. He's talking the whole I thing. <laughs> Here's the guy. Here's the guy. 
that buys a house for $179,000. He sells it to a lobbyist who's probably here for $380,000, and then legislation is passed. Well, you tell me about this guy. This is what we're going to have. Here's the guy president. that inherited $200 million. If he hadn't inherited $200 million, you know where Donald no, no, Trump no, would no, be no. right now? No, no, Selling no. watches in I Manhattan. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I took it. That's what that you is so wrong. We'll work on that. I took one million dollars and I turned it into oh, okay. ten million. billion dollars. I borrowed one then million dollars. Then release the tax return so we can see how I much money he makes. I borrowed one million dollars. Uh, I turned it into ten billion, money. more than Thank ten you. billion. Thank you. Thank you. I want to bring in Maria Celeste of Telemundo. I have to say, Senator he Cruz. lied this time. He lied. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Senator, you lied about the Polish workers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You lied to the 30, students of Trump years University. Thirty-eight years ago. Thirty-eight years ago. Oh, he lied please. thirty-eight years ago. All right. I guess there's a statute of limitation on lies. You'll have many different plans. You'll have competition. You'll have so many different plans. But now he's I repeating think, himself. No, Mr. I'm Trump. not repeating. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. no, no, no. I don't repeat myself. I don't, don't repeat myself. You don't, don't repeat man. yourself. Here's the guy who repeats himself. I don't repeat, you repeat yourself every day. They're talking about repeating. I watched him repeat himself five times four weeks ago. And I, I saw want to you tell repeat you, yourself five times five meltdown. seconds ago. I watched him. <laughs> I watched him melt down on the stage like I've let's, never seen anybody. Let's say, let's I thought say he focus came out of the substance. swimming pool. I said, well, let's talk, let's I talk see about him repeat your himself plan. every night. It says five things. Everyone's dumb. Rubio, He's going to make America great Senator again. Rubio. We're going to win, win, win. Senator He's Rubio, winning in the please. polls. Please and the stop. lines around the state. Respond. If you All would right. just let Mr. Trump respond to what yeah, you just posed to him. Yeah, he's going to give us a plan now, right? If, okay. you, if you could talk a little bit more about your plan. I know you talked about the interstate. No, no, uh, we're going to have many different plans because there's going to be competition. Said it again. <laughs> there's going to be competition. There is going to be competition among all of the states and the insurance companies. They're going to have many, many different plans. Is there anything else you would like to add to that? No, there's plans? nothing to add. What's to add? What is to add? Thank, thank you both. Right. Governor Kasich. You've said Roughly 65% of Republicans think Donald is, is not the right candidate to go against Hillary Clinton. Now, part of the reason is in the last 10 you, polls difference. on Real Clear Politics, he's lost to Hillary on eight of them. In the last 10 polls on Real Clear Politics, I either tie or beat Hillary. And this is an example. You know, the mainstream media is laying off Donald now. They're going to pick apart his taxes. They're going to pick apart his business deals. And let's take, for example, one of Hillary's great vulnerabilities, the corruption at the Clinton Foundation. The fact that she had CEOs and foreign companies giving her money while she was Secretary of State. The next Republican beating him awfully badly in the polls. But every you're not beating Hillary. So but you're not know. beating Hillary. Well, then if I can't, if, hey, if I can't beat her, you're really going to get killed, aren't you? So let me ask you this, because you're really getting beaten badly. I know you're embarrassed. I know you're embarrassed. But keep fighting. Keep swinging, men. Swing for the fences. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. The Trump University case watched him melt down, and I'll tell you, it was one of the saddest things I've ever seen. He's not going down. He thinks Excuse the Palestinian me, minute, is a real a estate deal. And these people may the, even be tougher than Chris Christie, okay? The Palestinians are not a real tougher. estate deal, Donald. Okay, no, no, no. A deal, not a, real a deal is a deal. Let me tell you, a I've learned a long time ago. A deal is not a deal when you're ago. dealing with terrorists. Have you, you ever are negotiated not a with negotiator. Terrorists? You are not a negotiator. And with your thinking, you will never, you will never bring peace. You will never bring peace. Donald might be able to bring good condos able, in the Palestinian areas, but he's not going to. This is not a real me. estate deal, Senator. Senator. He will never be able to do it. I think I may be able to do it. Although I will say this. Probably the toughest deal of any kind is that particular deal. Let's move on to talk about North Korea. There is, you are all talk and no action. What I've seen up here, I mean, first of all, this guy's a choke artist and this guy's a liar. You have a combination, this guy always goes you, have a, you have a combination of factors 
He this can't is so do it typical. for the obvious reason, and he can't do it because the he doesn't he does. know how to tell the truth. Here. Other than that, I rest my There's, case. This there is the is typical thing he does. On any debate the, about right. policy, one at a time. he goes Gentlemen. right for the outrageous Governor Kasich, beyond, you have the floor. Beyond, Governor, you, know, I get a response you, to that. you will I, have a response, right. but I promise Governor Kasich he could respond. I know politicians, believe it or not, better than you do, and it's not good. Oh, I believe it. No, no, I believe you know politicians much better than I do because for 40 years you've been funding liberal Democratic politicians. And by the way, I funded the, you. The, the, the I reason funded him. You, you're welcome you to have the check back. I funded this be, guy. Because let's I gave be clear. Him a check. Yeah, you I gave, gave me five thousand dollars. Never funded and, me. And, and by the way, let's yes. be clear. <laughs> Donald claims. Donald claims to care you know why? I didn't about him. Donald, he sent me Donald, his book Donald, with his autograph. Donald, I understand rules Mr. are very Trump, hard for you. They're very job. confusing. I have his book. Okay, yeah, that, that, on that, your reality TV show, not in thank you, Donald. Thank you for the book, Donald. Donald. Thank you for the book. Go ahead, D Donald, Donald. You can get back on your bed. We a lot of fun now. up here tonight. I have to tell you. Thank, but, thank uh, you for the book. Donald, 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 relax. Go ahead. I'm relaxed. You're the basket case. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't get nervous. Go ahead. My I name promise is, you, Donald, there's mentioned. nothing about I've you that, you. that, that I, makes I, anyone I nervous. You know, people so are actually you, watching wanna, this. You don't know okay. what's happening. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen. Wolf, I'm going to ask that my time not stop be deducted this. when he's yelling at you. Take control. Okay, now. The latest debate, uh, well, gentlemen, hold on. please. I'm going to get my answer. He doesn't get to We're, yell at me the whole time. I want to move on. These are the rules. He can't move on. He called me a liar and interrupted the whole time. You've had a chance. Wolf, do, do I not get a response? You have, you do, do I not get a response? You'll get, without you'll being get a plenty of response, so stand by. My name was. I want to talk. I want to talk about <laughs> ISIS right now, and the federal government. Marco went on Univision, in Spanish, and said he would not rescind President Obama's illegal executive amnesty on his first day in office. I have promised to rescind every single illegal executive action, including that one. And, and on the question, well, 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 I don't know how he knows what I said on Univision because he doesn't speak Spanish. And second of all, <laughs> the other point that I would make. Marco, si quieres, díselo ahora, ahora mismo, díselo ahora. En, en español, si quieres. Senator Cruz. What an incredible nation we have that the son of a bartender and the son of a mailman and the son of a dishwasher and a successful businessman can all stand on this stage competing and asking for your support. Well, they were coming. Call up Carrier, the president. I guess I have to do it myself. I know it's not. Oh, no, it's only the same people coming down the stairs. No, there's a remnant. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Yeah, throw him out. Throw him out into the cold. You know, don't give them their coat. No coats. No coats. Confiscate their coat. You know, you can't win. By the way, just to finish, I, was, I had one word left. So that we put them in our jails. Because to put them in our jails, they didn't pay the electric bill. To put them, oh, I like that much better. Oh. Oh, that's so much better. Those lights were brutal. Are they come from the dishonest press? Where? Oh, don't turn them off. Forget it. Better, right? Don't turn them on. Don't turn the lights on. Plus, we save on electricity, right? And because the lights didn't work, I won't pay the rent. So we get better lighting and we don't pay the rent, right? Right? No, get those lights off. Off. Turn them off, they're too, they're too bright. Turn them off. Turn them off. Let's go, ready? Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Turn them off. So much nicer. No, no, that's the way we have to negotiate for our country. The biggest in the world, the Chinese bank. Don't worry about that baby. I love babies, though. I love babies. I hear that baby crying. I like it. I like it. What a baby. What a beautiful baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. The mom's running around like, don't worry about it, you know? It's young and beautiful and healthy, and that's what we want. Okay. But, but look, look. We have the piggy bank. 
They have ripped us to shreds. Ripped us absolutely to shreds. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. That's all right. Don't worry. I, I think she really believed me that I love having a baby crying while I'm speaking. That's okay. People don't understand. But that's okay. You know, you have one guy over there shouting. We have thousands of people, and you'll read about him tomorrow. They'll say, oh, the, the, the room had a, a picket. All right, yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you please? Get him out of here. Throw him out. No, we had it the other day. I got criticized. We had it the other night. I had a lot of people, and one guy who was seriously obese. He complained when I mentioned that food stamps, we have a lot of people on food stamps. And the guy went crazy. And they said that wasn't politically correct. Who cares? We all have a weight problem. Yeah, you can get him out. Yeah, get him out. Get him the hell out of here. Get him out of here. Get out. Get him out of here. Friends, delegates, and fellow Americans, I humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. This campaign says she felt overheated and she went to her daughter's apartment uh, to get her bearings. Let's watch this video for a second. There you see her apparently almost falling. <coughs> you can make a difference. <coughs> Too much to say. <coughs> Whoa. Hillary's coughing fit lasted a full two minutes. Even when it finally subsided, her voice still sounded strained. You're a, you're a great amen chorus. Thank you. And I want to thank Congresswoman Marsha Fu for hosting us. Every time I think about Trump, I get allergic. <coughs> Boy, we have 63 days to go. at community colleges, at apprenticeships run by labor unions and businesses. Because we're going to have a lot of jobs, jobs from building infrastructure to coding, creating new apps. I don't know who created Pokemon Go, but I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Just for the record, are you a progressive or are you a moderate? I'm a progressive, but I'm a progressive who likes to get things done. And I know how to find common ground, and I know how to stand my ground. Clinton, is Bernie Sanders tough enough on guns? No, not at all. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. We can raise our voices, but I come from a rural state, and the views on gun control in rural states are different than in urban states, whether we like it or not. Congress does not regulate Wall Street. Wall Street regulates Congress.
and we have got to break off these banks. Voted to save the auto industry. He voted against the money that ended up saving the auto industry. Oh. I think that is a pretty big difference. Well, I, if you are talking about the Wall Street bailout, where some of your friends destroyed this economy, you know. Through, excuse me, I'm talking. Let him spawn. If you're you know, going to talk, tell the whole story, well, Senator Let Sanders. me tell my story, you tell yours. I will. Your story is for voting for every disastrous trade agreement and voting for corporate America. Did I vote against the Wall Street bailout when billionaires on Wall Street destroyed this economy? doing it, and now you're just starting to think of solutions. Well, actually, I will bring, excuse me, I will bring back jobs. You can't bring back jobs. Well, actually, um, I have thought about this quite a bit. Yeah, for 30 and years. I have, uh, well, not quite that long. Uh, I think my husband did a pretty good job in the 1990s. I think a lot about what worked and how we can make it work again. Well, he approved million NAFTA. new jobs, he approved a NAFTA, balanced budget. Which is the single worst trade incomes, deal ever approved in this country. Incomes went up for everybody. Manufacturing jobs went up also in the 1990s, if we're actually going to look at the facts. When I was in the Senate, I had a number of trade deals. You can't win that debate, but you know that if you did win, you would approve that, and that will be almost as bad as NAFTA. Nothing will ever well, top NAFTA. That, that is just not accurate. I uh, was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in— You called it the gold I standard. About, well, I hope— You called I, it the gold standard of trade deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not— the facts. The facts are, I did say, I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I wrote about that. So is it President in my Obama's fault? Is it President Obama's you fault? Even announced. Look, there Secretary, are Secretary, is it President there, Obama's fault? There are Because he's pushing it. There are different views about what's good for our country, our economy, and our leadership in the world. And I think it's important to trillion dollars to the debt. But you have but no plan. Educate. Oh, I do. Secretary, in fact, you I have, have no plan. A book about it. It's called Stronger Together. You can yeah. pick it up That's tomorrow about all you at folks. the bookstore <laughs> or at an airport near you. We're going to move to. Uh, but it's because I see this. Anyway, well, at least I have a plan to fight ISIS. Prosperity. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are, want to do. No wonder you've been fighting. No wonder you've been fighting ISIS your entire adult life. Folks, well, that, that's me, a, that's, go to the please, the fact checkers. Get folks, to work. You are unpacking a lot here, and we're still on the issue of uh, lots of other things, and it would be beautiful, but we have no leadership. And honestly, that starts with Secretary Clinton. All right, you have two minutes on the same question to defend tax increases on the wealthiest American, Secretary Clinton. I, I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, <laughs> why not? Jo you know, just, just, just join, uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. Now, let me it, say. Hey, there's nothing crazy is about not letting our companies bring their money it, back into their is, country. This is uh, Secretary Clinton's two minutes, yes. please. Yeah, well, let's start the clock again, Lester. Um, we've looked at your, as a man of great dignity, and I could tell how much it bothered him and annoyed him that this was being touted and used against him. But I like to remember what Michelle Obama said in her amazing speech at our Democratic National Convention. When they go low, we go high. And Barack Obama went high, despite Donald Trump's best efforts to bring him down. Mr. Trump, you can respond, then we're going to move on I to the next I would love to segment. respond. First of all, I got to watch in preparing for this some of your debates against Barack Obama. You treated him with terrible disrespect. And I watch the way you talk now about how lovely everything is and how wonderful you are. It doesn't work that way. You were after him. You were trying to. You even sent out, or your campaign sent out, pictures of him in a certain garb. Very famous pictures. I don't think you can deny that. But just last week, your campaign manager said it was true. So when you tried... Well, I hope the fact checkers are turned up and turning up the volume and really working hard. Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. He actually advocated for the actions we took in Libya. I have much better judgment than she does. There's no question about that. I also have a much better temperament than she has. You know, I have a much better. She spent, let me tell you, she spent hundreds of millions of dollars on an advertising. You know, they get Madison Avenue into a room. They put names. Oh, temperament. Let's go after. I think my strongest asset maybe by far, is my temperament. I have a winning temperament. I know how to win. She does not have Secretary how to win. Clinton. Wait, the AFL-CIO the other day, <clears throat> behind the blue screen, I don't know who you were talking to, Secretary Clinton, but you were totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Woo, okay. 
Let's, um, let, let's uh, talk about two important issues that were briefly mentioned by Donald. First, NATO. And I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where they have some nice furniture. <laughs> I took her out furniture. I moved on her like a bitch, but I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's totally changed her look. I've got to use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. So you can say any way you want to say it, but Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously. Four of them are here tonight. One of the women, who is a wonderful woman at 12 years old, was raped at 12. Her client, she represented, got him off, and she's seen laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Kathy Shelton, that young woman, is here with us tonight. So. Don't tell me about words. I am absolutely, I apologize for those words. But it is things that people say. But what President Clinton did, he was impeached. He lost his license to practice law. He had to pay an $850,000 fine to one of the women, Paula Jones, who's also here tonight. And I will tell you that when Hillary brings up a point like that, and she talks about words that I said 11 years ago, I think it's disgraceful, and I think she should be ashamed of herself, if you want to know the truth. When I hear something like that, I am reminded of what my friend Michelle Obama advised us all. When they go low, you go high. And um, we have literally Trump. You can fact check, him, fact, check, fact check him in real time. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people uh, fact checking. So I expect we'll have millions more. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. We want to remind the audience to please not uh, talk out loud. Please do not applaud. You're just wasting time. And, and Secretary Clinton, I do want to follow up. From the United States Secretary Congress. Secretary Clinton, you can respond. Then we have to move on to an audience question. Look, it's just not true. And so please you, oh, go you didn't to, delete him? Allow her to respond, him? please. Personal emails, not oh, official. 33,000? Yeah. Well, we turned over 35,000. So oh, yeah. it was. What about the other 15,000? Uh, please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true. I didn't. And I didn't in the say. first debate, and uh, I'm going to try not to in this debate because uh, I'd like to get to the questions that the people have brought here tonight uh, to talk to us about. And get off this question. Okay, Donald, I know you're into big diversion tonight, anything to avoid talking about your campaign and the way it's exploding and the way Republicans are leaving you. But let's, let's, let's at least focus on some of the let's issues see what that people care about tonight. From Ken Karpowitz, he has a question about health care. Ken? I'd like to know, Anderson, why aren't you bringing up the emails? I'd like to know. Why aren't you we brought up the, the emails? Bottom? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. And it hasn't been finished at all. Ken Carpowitz has a question. It's nice to one on three. Thank you. Affordable care. That, that first one goes to Secretary Thank Clinton you. because you started out the last one to the audience. He wants to start. He can start. Just, go ahead, no, go ahead, Donald. No, I'm a gentleman, Hillary. Go ahead. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> well, I think Donald was about to say he's going to solve it by repealing it. Wants to allow. And, and why did thousands? it morph excuse into me, that? No, did me. you? No, answer the question. Why do you, you still believe? Her? You I interrupt do. interrupt me all the time. Why don't you Would interrupt you her? Would you please explain whether or not the Muslim ban still stands? It's called. They want to create a war between us. And the final thing I would say, this is the 10th or 12th time that he's denied being for the war in Iraq. We have it on tape. The entire press corps has looked at it. It's been debunked, but it never stops him from saying whatever he wants has to say. It's not been debunked. So please not uh, been debunked. And go I was to against, I was against, and, and you can see it. I was against the war in Iraq. It has not been debunked. And you voted for it, and you shouldn't have. Well, I just There's been lots say, of fact-checking on that. I'd like to move on excuse to an me. online question. She just went about 25 seconds over her time. She Could I just not. respond to this, please? Very quickly, please. Secretary Clinton, does Mr. Trump have the discipline to be a good leader? No. I'm shocked to hear that. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's not only my opinion. It's the opinion of... What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Would either of you name one positive thing that you respect in one another? Mr. Trump, would you like to go first? 
Well, I, I certainly will, because uh, I think that's a, a very fair and important question. Look, I respect his children. His children are incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. I don't agree with nearly anything else he says or does, but I do respect that. And I think that is something uh, that, as a mother and a grandmother, is very important to me. Well, I consider her statement about my children to be a very nice compliment. I don't know if it was meant to be a compliment, but it is a great. I'm very proud of my children. And uh, they've done a wonderful job, and they've been wonderful, wonderful kids. So uh, I consider that a compliment. Uh, I will say this about Hillary. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. I respect that. I tell it like it is. She's a fighter. I disagree with much of what she's fighting for. I do disagree with her judgment in many cases. But she does fight hard, and she doesn't quit, and she doesn't give up. And I consider that to be a very good trait. Thanks to both of you. Trump is now down nine points in our latest CBS News poll. No presidential candidate has made up a deficit that large this close to the election. We're going to secure the border, and once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. Borders. I, I wanna, but what she doesn't say is that President Obama has deported millions and millions of people just the way Secretary it is. Clinton, I wanna, I, we, Secretary Clinton, we will if, not have open borders. Well, that that is a, a rank mischaracterization. Yes, 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 Secretary Clinton. We will have secure borders, but we will also have reform. And this used to be a bipartisan issue. Ronald Reagan Se was Secretary the last Clinton, president to me. sign uh, immigration reform, and George W. Bush supported it as well. Secretary Clinton, I want to clear up your position on this issue because that was a great pivot off the fact that she wants open borders okay how did we get on to hold, putin hold, hold on hold on no, no, hold that, on, wait wait hold on folks because we could this is going to end up getting out of control let's try to keep it quiet so for the candidates and for the american people Go so ahead. just to finish on the borders yes she wants open borders people are going to pour into our country people are going to come in from syria she wants 550 percent more people than barack obama and he has thousands and thousands of people they have no idea where they come from and you see we are going to stop radical islamic terrorism in this country she won't even mention the words and neither will president obama so i just want to tell you she wants open borders now we can talk about putin i don't know putin he said nice things about me if we got along well that would be good if Russia and the United States got along well and went after ISIS, that would be good. He has no respect for her. He has no respect for our president. And I'll tell you what, we're in very serious trouble because we have a country with tremendous numbers of nuclear warheads. 1,800, wait, wait, wait. from everything I see, has no respect for this person. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet, no puppet. And it's pretty, clear, you're the puppet. it's pretty clear you won't admit no, you're that the, the Russians puppet. have engaged in cyber attacks against the United States of America, that you encouraged espionage against our people, that you are willing to spout the Putin line, sign up for his wish list, break up NATO, do whatever he wants to do, and that you continue to get help from him because he has a very clear favorite in this race. So. I think that this is such an unprecedented uh, situation. We've never had a foreign government try. I find that deeply disturbing. Secretary and Clinton, I think it's She time. has no idea whether it's Russia, it, China, or anybody else. I am else. not quoting she has myself. No idea. I am quoting Hillary, you 17, have no idea. 17 intelli Do you doubt 17 our, our military has and no civilian idea. agencies? Well, yeah, he'd rather it. believe Vladimir Putin than the military and civilian intelligence professionals who are sworn to protect us. I find that just Se absolutely She doesn't right. like Mr. Putin because Putin Mr. has outsmarted her at every Mr. step Trump, of the way. I, I, Excuse I, me. Mr. Putin has Mr. outsmarted Trump, her in Mr. Syria. Trump, He's outsmarted her every step ask, of the way. I do get to ask some questions. Yes, that's And I fine. would like to ask you this direct question. Do you condemn any interference by Russia in the American election? By Russia or anybody else? You condemn their interference? Of course I condemn. Of course I can. I don't know Putin. Contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund by making sure that we have sufficient income. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday, November the 8th, 2016. Election day turns into election night. What's up, America? Let's pick a president, y'all. I'm Amna Nawaz. We are live in our Times Square studio. We have a cast of awesomeness right here with you all night. Stay with us for live election results, real-time calls as they come in. Projections we can make. It's 9 o'clock. Polls are closing, and we can project a winner in the new... We can project that Donald Trump will win there. Uh, and in North Dakota, Donald Trump... Trump, the projected winner. Uh, in South uh, Dakota, Donald Trump, the projected winner. 
Here's an interesting one. Texas, there had been some talk that Hillary Clinton was going to make a run for Texas. At this point, we're saying uh, it didn't work and Trump won. And Wyoming, we're calling that. Uh, we are projecting that the winner there will be Donald Trump. You know, when you announce your campaign <laughs> and at that very announcement, when you well, are launched, exactly. you talk about Mexicans as rapists and you go into immigrants as inferior and slander. That is the wall. And so many Latinos, no matter what their background, suddenly are shut off, suddenly are turned off. And it's going to take a lot of very diligent, focused efforts like this plan that the Republicans had in 2012, which has gone out the window, right. to bring that vote back. And here with you now in Missouri, those 10 electoral votes ABC News can project will go to Donald Trump with 62 percent of the vote there in Missouri. ABC News can now also project. I believe we have a couple more results to bring you here in Louisiana. Eight electoral votes there going also to Donald Trump, 62%. And in Montana, Donald Trump is also the projected winner right there. So three more states going for Mr. Trump. You're a big Hillary Clinton supporter. How are you feeling? I'm on Can you speak? the verge of having a little bit of a panic attack. I, we were sitting there watching yeah. these numbers roll in, and I'll tell you, the reality of a Trump presidency had not actually set in. I had not let myself think about what that would mean. This is already, in my mind, such a sad occurrence for humanity that millions upon millions of people have voted for bigotry, for racism, for white supremacy, for discrimination, for rape culture. And uh, you, strong you words. Get, 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 there is strong words. I'm an independent. Okay, you're independent. Um, uh, where Trump is the victor, according to the ABC News projection. So. I want to get back to this larger question about what might have gone wrong in the polling here. But before I do that, let's just go through again the math here <laughs> on the uh, on the on the map. Let's go through the math on the map. Uh, what is Trump's route to victory here? and What is Clinton's route to victory here? So what's funny is that, you know, a couple of days ago, I would have said Donald Trump has one very narrow path to victory. He has to win Florida, which he's done. He has to win Ohio, which he's done. He has to win North Carolina which he's done. So he's, he's picking up all of the things that we said he needed. Iowa's still sort of curiously not there yet for him, but Iowa's got to be part of the equation. We can do is we can make a projection, a projection in the state of Iowa. Donald Trump, we project, will carry the state of Iowa. So right now, there's not a single one of, you know, a lot of things needed to go right for Donald Trump to become president, but none of those things have gone wrong yet. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's why he's still in the game. And the fact that you've even got pieces on the board like Wisconsin that we're even talking about right now. Next, that Donald Trump will carry the state of Wisconsin. He will win Wisconsin with its 10 electoral votes. He's cracked the so-called blue wall that Hillary Clinton had tried to create. Uh, Donald Trump wins Wisconsin. Take a look at this, 92% of the vote is in. He's up by 75,000 votes, plus 10 electoral votes. Donald Trump, the winner in Wisconsin. Let's take a look at the electoral college map right now with that win in Wisconsin. Look at how close he is. Right now, he has 257 electoral votes. He needs 13 more, 270, to be elected president of the United States. And the wall comes tumbling down. This is the blue wall that uh, Hillary Clinton had talked about. This is a state that Hillary Clinton hasn't even visited since the Democratic Convention. So go ahead. That's right. Uh, CNN can report that Hillary Clinton has called Donald Trump to concede the race. She has called Donald Trump to say that she will not be president, and uh, I'm not sure the exact words, but probably to congratulate uh, President-elect Donald Trump. So that has happened in the last few moments. Talking to a source uh, who was there for it and, and telling me that that, that that conversation did happen. Our Sam Feist is also hearing from a different source that that conversation did happen. So uh, Hillary Clinton has made it very clear to her opponent that she believes that he will be the next president of the United States and not her. Jay Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama is the next president. And Mr. Trump, for the moment, steps for what the What a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. on the shoulder. You just don't have to find us at all, man. With a gracious aid throughout this. I am so sorry. <laughs> to my world, I am so sorry to my world. This is not what we want. We will face challenges. There's so much we potential. Will options, but um, we will get the job done. For beauty and for devastation. Years, we In this steps. one moment, it's to almost incomprehensible the that they can exist right now. So, and we are grateful. So for close. President Obama.